A front in the west will start to cross the bite tomorrow as high pressure covers the east, including us. This low will become cut off and then wander in coming days. Wet weather continues overnight and tomorrow. It is mainly about the southeast. We have lighter activity affecting parts of the rest. Then it all eases tomorrow night and the focus moves away from us. The low will deliver light rain to South Australia as it moves through. Then it jumps and intensifies, affecting these eastern parts of the nation across the weekend. It falls on some very dry land as much needed rain and it lands on fire grounds too. But it doesn't fall everywhere that needs it. Inland parts of New South Wales and Queensland and also Victoria misses out. Around the nation tomorrow, Brisbane and Sydney are dry. The rain doesn't begin there until Friday night. Adelaide rises to 20 tomorrow. Lots of sunshine. That's ahead of light rain late tomorrow night. Perth, partly cloudy, a top of 17. And it is the fire season in Darwin, so morning smoke, then sunny. To Victoria, local frost and areas of fog inland ahead of cloudy sky for much of the time tomorrow. Showers over the southeast and the potential for patchy light rain or drizzle for the rest. Winds do become light. Closer inland, it is cloudy again for much of the day. We've got drizzly showers passing through. They are heavier over outer southeastern suburbs, then it all clears up at night. The city starts on 8 and it may rise to 15, but I'd expect mostly cloudy skies with light showers at times, so it could be another top of 12 or 13. To the 8-day outlook, it changes from Thursday. Clear skies bring a cold start to the day, then tops of 18. All of these days have lots of sunshine. They may have fog to start in the morning, then they're warm and sunny afternoons. Warming up Tuesday ahead of the next change. So mostly cloudy tomorrow. Light showers at times, quite cold again, may rise to 15.